Well, was and your hands like this. Because we've all seen guys go through the legs now, right? It's become kind of an art. But to see him in a Stanley Cup playoff game, under the gun, pressure situation, down one nothing to make that move, that's one of the greatest moves I've seen in Stanley Cup playoffs. Another great game tonight, and my favorite moment was when Kevin Bieksa just decided to be a silly little goose. I've known Brandon, who also runs the channel with me, for almost 20 years now. We both independently screen capped this and sent it to each other. Anyway, great for memes, I think. Whoever creates the best meme, I'll give a shout out in the next video. Just make sure you tag myself and Brandon, our Twitter accounts, down in the description. Anyway. Anyone not watching the Florida Carolina series because they don't find the teams interesting or they're mad the Leafs didn't make it to the conference finals, you are missing out on some absolutely phenomenal hockey. So after a nearly five overtime thriller in the game one, the Hurricanes and the Panthers were back at it tonight. Pre-puck drop, we get the big news that Carolina would be giving Ronta the net tonight. I said this might happen after the goalies got basically two games worth of time in game one, but I thought Ronta looked great. The first period was unreal. The Canes were just all over the Panthers. At one point, the shots were like 20 to 6. They got the scoring opened early. Borowski lets up a rebound. Carolina fights for the puck. Aho with the beautiful slap pass to Chatfield, 1 0 less than two minutes in. A minute later, Florida ties the game. However, Rod the Bod challenges the goal for being offside, gives a threatening flex at the referee, and yeah, the goal's called back. For real though, offside challenges this postseason have a 100% success rate. You've got to give major credit to not only the coaches, but especially the video review staff who have to make a decision on whether to suggest a challenge or not in literally seconds. And this trend would continue near the end of the first when Florida this time would challenge a Carolina goal for offside. Rod forgot to threateningly flex at the ref. That one too would go back. Bomb had more work obviously in the first and I think Florida was very lucky to go out of that period period just down one goal they would however turn their play around in the second and about eight minutes in we would get a beauty Barkov gets fed the puck in front of the net and does something I don't think I've ever seen before he fakes a through the leg shot goes to his backhand and slides it past Ronta just an unreal goal and yeah Ronta completely froze on this one and I mean can you blame him who has the gall to fake a through the leg shot not only that but who has the hands for me this may be the goal of the playoffs so far, but it also speaks to just how high the skill quality in the NHL is, where goalies are expecting a through-the-leg shot. Giroux actually did something like this a few years ago, but it was in the regular season and on a breakaway. I think it's partially the speed here that makes it so impressive. Anyway, regulation would yield nothing, though both teams would get some great chances. Bob, again, just especially looked solid. Canes would get the first really good chance in overtime, then on the power play. Who else but Maddie Kachuk would score, ending the game 2-1. And just like last time, instantly gets his team, leaves the ice. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. The fact that he just goes over, opens the door himself, and leaves. A couple of pretty insane stats from the Sportsnet crew after the game. This was Kachuk's third overtime winner this playoffs, which ties him for the all-time record. But this is also the sixth overtime Florida has won in a row. The goal itself was also a beauty. Reinhardt showed real restraint not just shooting it when he had a pretty good angle himself you gotta love it though the tic-tac-toe goal with this all three games now in the conference final rounds have gone to overtime i honestly think the play has been so good and i think that this is just such a great showcase of hockey and there's gonna be new fans born in this playoffs but what did you think of the game let me know down below